it's strawberry lemonade haze, mm-hmm. right? And it's some type of liquor drink. But it's mm-hmm. like it's 14% alcohol. I got strawberries for 11. Mm-hmm. Premium ready to drink cocktail. Sounds good. No that artificial good. flavors. Shake well, refrigerate after opening. Yeah. I'm not going to need to refrigerate it. Could you go uh, drink it all? Slam it. Yeah, I uh, so like a big um, manly dude. Nick got- too, the new intern, didn't provide us with anything. So we have a couple think-ins from from we can use. We got no dick of the weeks. Oh, that smells like ass, but it's pretty good. This is delicious, actually. Oh my god, that's oh, dangerous. No. That is that is oh, fucking dangerous. Oh, no Holy moly, Cody, what do you want to talk about tonight? I got nothing, man. I, I'm like I don't have much. Listen, hey, if you guys don't do shit for show prep, I end up doing it, and this is what happens, okay? So live, fuck you, Randy. Live on the show, show prep. Yeah. I did show prep, Rim. Look what I did. What? That's the show you got prep to the, I did. You, you got I to rolled a joint. I did that earlier to prep for the show. So. Amazing. See, look, look how annoyed Cody is right now. He's so fucking pissed off at you. Roll, roll, roll your joint. Pick out the seeds and stems. <laughs> Feeling high as hell, run through Palmdale. Some some. Poor, yep. Co- poor, poor Cody. My gotta deal with this bullshit. Don't I'm sell. sorry. I bet my caddy will. Yep. Can you forgive me, Cody, one day <laughs> for, for subjecting you to this bullshit? Are you drinking a twisted tea too, bud? No, that's a yerba mate. Oh. <laughs> you know what? That's a that's a tea that stops making me eat. Oh, that's what the Adderall does to me. What is that? A diet drink? It's a tea. Diet tea? No, it's a tea. What? Why? Are, why do you think? It's you said diet? makes you stop eating. Is it? Is it like a diet no, thing? No, it's a. It's not diet. It. Uh, it's just an appetite suppressant. I'm just trying to find the flow, Cody. Just trying to find the flow. It just. Uh, it just makes you not hungry, so you can skip a snack or two. The Rich all. Dickman Show, brought to you oh. by Di- Cody's Diet Tea. Oh shit! I had to grab my box. It's two twenty nine, boys. Yeah, right. that's loud. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pull that down. Holy shit! Crank it up. Oh, it was just like really loud. Use your toes. Crank that shit, Randy. Oh, good. here we go. Hey, everybody! Welcome. To episode 229 of the Rich Dickman Show, the podcast today. This is tonight. Lee, better than me, Doc. I'm yours, Rip. Once again, back at you, doing the things that we do in this stupid show of ours. We have fun. I genuinely like these guys. I was thinking about that today. Like, I genuinely like oh, talking God. with the two of these guys. Randy more than Cody, because Cody, Cody doesn't like talking to me. I hate you. But you'll get there, Cody. Randy, what's going on, buddy? Well, just got done. We're football fans now. Yeah, we're watching football all the time. Thursday night That's football, gonna be expensive. Monday night football, Sunday night football. If football's a, on, just, how about we just call football, football, football if it's on every night of the week? Y- yeah, yeah. It, we're gonna play. We're gonna watch football, and I'm gonna root for my fantasy guys. I'm gonna keep trying to trade that asshole who I won't say his name, but he's a fucking dipshit. Uh, fuck you for fucking. You know what? It pisses me off, Rim. When someone wow, agrees okay. to a deal in text. And then you go over to where you play fantasy football and you yeah. put it in and they don't oh, fucking yeah. agree to it in the mm, Then they want to uh-huh. counter and ask for more. And you're yeah. like, fantasy, you, know you motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck you. Fantasy you like games last. like fantasy football like are literally proof that like society sucks and <laughs> like humanity is not as great as everyone thinks. Because I've you always have to play that game years. of like you, you, you've got to play that game of like, hey, can you? Where's your contribution to the pot? You know what I mean? Like, the season's already over, and somebody didn't contribute to the pot. So technically, you you pretty much have to be like a loan shark and just be like, hey, oh, we uh, you owe the winner. Yeah, but the thing is, like, somebody always is like, oh, I'll get you, I'll get it to you next Tuesday, and next Tuesday is apparently after the season when they've lost and don't feel the no longer feel obligated to pony up for something they've already lost for. Oh, this That's is Cody, where everybody. people wait to get in. Oh. People wait to get into this league. We've been running for 11 years. It's a keeper league. Don't don't you worry about our league, Cody. 
How dare Man, you insult the reputation of the I can't of the stand you fucking week. fantasy football nerds. Holy shit. Like, you're worse than Warcraft nerds. God damn it. I gotta listen. It's I gotta read yeah. you and Ray fucking going back and forth about your, your fake and players they don't, and your and fake And they teams. don't see it. They don't God. think there's anything wrong with it. They think no. it, like, it's just... They think they're like tacticianers on like some kind of like yeah. military tribunal. Grim, I, I grew mean, up by myself, you know, because my best friend cares. moved away when I was young, nobody and cares. and 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 I played Madden. That's how I soothed myself as I played. So Madden continue to play Madden. Mode. What does fucking fantasy have to do with anything? God, At least when I'm bragging about my gambling, I'm I'm like winning real money here. I'm winning real money too. If I win this league, I win three hundred bucks. So fuck off. Are, are you gonna win? jokes on everyone? No money's real. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. true. That's right, Cody. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Cody. Cody, well, Cody I'm gambling me. again. Cody, I got to tell you, man. I haven't, because I haven't. With all that you. fake money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I was down, I was down to nine cents. All right. And I had a $10 free bet. And mm-hmm. man, I remember I so told you a couple weeks ago, cents. Randy yeah. talked, Randy talked me into spending a whole bunch of money on, on, a, on a capper and like in a deposit. And then I lost that. This is, yeah, maybe. I'm yeah, back yeah. into money, baby. I, you know, past oh, he's in the black. Sunday okay. and Monday, I won $125 from Sunday and Monday. Put me nice. way up. Lost a little bit nice. yesterday. Got a little greedy. Got a little selfish. All right. Today, I don't know how today's going to end up. I need that football game to go pretty well. Uh, this is We're kind of touch and go tonight. I'm going to be checking. I mean, I could be, I could be up big at the end of the show tonight, or I could just be, you know. That's the normal. nature of gambling. Yeah. yeah anything yeah. could happen. Yeah. Anything being double dollar ticket or higher. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yep. Thing? It's called slots of fun. Kristen calls it's four it different slots games. of fun. I know Randy, that looks like a child's birthday invitation, what you just hold up to the <laughs> camera. Yeah, it's ten bucks. It's just like Odds you're one, currently invited one, two. to the Discovery Zone. You went up to five Randy. K. Randy Dickman's birthday. Nobody buys it because it's the big one, so all the prizes we'll are. We'll have select. pizza and soda. Yeah. Do they have twenty dollar oh. tickets out in Ohio? They they can't get it. They're oh. having their first fifty dollar ticket January third. Prizes start at a hundred dollars. Rim. Oh, nice. Start at a hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it. Kristen already said I could do a roll. Fifteen hundred bucks. God. Cody. Every yeah. every Wednesday and every Saturday, <clears throat> my father has a ritual where he buys his lotto tickets for the next drawing. Right. Aww. And it's and it's the saddest shit in the world because he's like fifty five bucks a pop between the tickets he gets and his scratches and shit. Yeah, <laughs> because he won five thousand dollars back in nineteen ninety eight. So he's still at it. Yeah, I don't know oh, why. Man, but like, I won five hundred like, bucks <clears throat> twice in a week. That's yeah, why I do it. That, Sorry, that's what Harry. they do. That's what they do. They they hand out scratchers that make your head light up once. So every time you play, you're just you're you're just one ticket off from winning it big like yeah. that. Like I, yeah. I, I, no joke, was like next to my grandmother while she was playing a scratcher, and it was like one of those like, it was one of those like slot machine scratchers, like where each like row is like a simulated like turn of like the slot machine reels. Is that on there, Randy? What anywhere? a fucking yeah. asshole! Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and literally, like there, there's like Notice five I spins. I was too she lazy. Had. I was too lazy I know, to I'm, scratch them all. I just did the barcode, yeah, scanned it with my. You're phone. the. You're the mentally handy, like handicapped, like player. No, you can players. say retard. Like, it's fine. You can say retard. No, he's a fucking no, no. Retard. He's not. He's not that he's special. A lotto retard. Oh, uh, he's not that special. I didn't want to pull. I didn't want to make him feel good. I, I just wanted him to feel plain and unspecial. Yeah. But anyway, like, like I, I sat next to my grandma. She played that, and like she literally like all ten spins on her card were winners. Wow. Yeah, and it, and it was a good tr- like. Yeah, oh. exactly. It was like. It, it, well, it was like a dollar five, and then like there was a good like fifty in there, and it all amounted up to something around like hundred and twenty bucks, which is a good. It's a good take, you know. I'm not going to shake a stick at hundred twenty bucks, lick. but I licks, feel like Cody. if you're if you're like scratch off hits all winners, hundred and twenty isn't that great. Hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? And I, I just remember thinking like, huh, that hundred and twenty bucks. That lottery company just invested into my grandma is just going to keep her going, all the like well, state she's government keep on going back. Like w- yeah, whatever. Like it's a thirty billion know, dollar a year of, industry. But like the, like the all state invested one hundred and twenty dollars into my grandmother. It's literally a just, tax on people who can't. You do are math. interrupting like a motherfucker tonight. Oh, I know, isn't it crazy? Like nah, I knew this wacky. was gonna be bad, and he thinks there's nothing wrong with it either. Okay, and this story's done. I guess Randy. Yeah, he my started- story is done. 
he started three hours ago saying, I'm not, I'm not feeling up to it tonight or whatever bullshit. He's like, you know, fuck. And today I knew it was going to be bad. I knew it was going to be bad when you do that shit, Randy. You're going to be Definitely interrupting. forms and shit. Sorry. You know how thought, easy it is to not interrupt, Randy? I, I do it all the time. <laughs> Randy, when you come at us, you're not feeling, we're going we're gonna to hit you hard so you feel better about yourself by feeling bad about yourself. Yeah. It's it, it's it's the therapy version of being punched through the internet. <laughs> I don't know why we stopped doing that as a society. We stopped making fun of people on the internet. Randy, what are you start then, staring at? What's going on? Then, are you alright? And then suddenly it's ten cents for fucking shopping bags. This is this is the problem with society. Oh. All right. Randy's doing something with the board. He just gave me a thumbs up. Randy, you alright? Thumbs in the middle. No, you can talk, Randy. Well, Randy, you just you just can't talk when other people are talking. Maybe you can't. Um. Anyway, I have this weird dream, Rem. <laughs> okay. I have this weird dream that I wake up stranded on a beach, and all my friends are there. So obviously, you guys are nowhere to be seen. Yes. Yeah, ask if we're there. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely fucking not. It's. But it's still like it, it's, wake up stranded on a horrifying desert island, right? Some of my yeah. friends are there. Maybe like five or six of them. And there is some food and some water on this island, right? But more importantly, there's a very strange, stilted house on the beach of this deserted island, right? And I and me and my friends like, oh, oh ooh, spooky. Let's go inside and see if there's like, you know, a cell phone reception in there or whatever. This is a very we go in there. dream. I know. I know. It, keep, it, it gets fucking weirder. And we get in there. And even though it's a stilted house, there's somehow a well inside the stilted house that like, you know drops down into, like, the abyssal nothingness of, you know, pitch black. And as, you know, the food supply of the island dwindles, me and, our, me and my friends, who I've known for, like, you know, let's say two decades, are just like, oh, uh, maybe there's a way out under, you know, down the well. Like, it, it's, it's, it doesn't make any sense, but the well doesn't make sense being here. Maybe there's a way out down the well. Who volunteers? And, like, one of, you know, one of the stupider, like, braver friends of mine is just like, oh, I'll go see what's at the bottom of the well. Right. It'd be wild if that girl from 1987 showed up and got stuck in the well. I don't know about that. Uh, like, oh, like the fucking ring Oh, girl? is that before you were born? I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Maybe. Um, anyway, <laughs> he goes down the well, and then he disappears, but we hear his voice saying, like, oh, yeah, there is a way out under, like, through the well. Like, I'm back at society. You know what I mean? I'm back where we, like, disappeared from. And I'm just like, huh. That's peculiar and way too, like, g like excellent news, you know what I mean, for me being heard that. And then from nowhere, I hear a scream coming from outside of the hut. And the decapitated body of my friend washes out oh from my God. the house. Holy yeah. moly. And then I go back inside the house and t scream down the well, and the voice comes back, and he's saying everything's fine, and I still should come down. Did you go down? No, I don't. I that's like the paradox of the entire dream. The rest of the dream is just like, oh, do I or do not do not like what? Which stimulus do I trust? Do I trust like my friend's like disembodied voice telling me to go through, or do I believe that like you believe your eyes, bro? Don't go through. Get your head chopped off. I don't. Yeah, but like, there's a voice that's saying like, keep you know, keep it coming. And I I I I, I try to get clever with it. I'm just like, does anyone else want to see if like. You know, does anyone else volunteer to go down there? And I have this, like, you know, someone else go down there, like, humming a tune, and there's no break in the humming. His voice is, like, talking to me the entire time. And still, he's like, oh, yeah, there's a way out here. And his body, like, washes out wow. from under the house. Cody, so I got it's a just question. Like, I, yeah. With, with your... How are you able to dream? Um... Magic? Wow. No, see, I got these melatonin gummies. They're pretty great. <laughs> yeah, so you just even mm. everything out. All right. So Randy, yeah, Randy's thanks. You know, no, and, and by the way, thanks for volunteering that and for that very private information to the entirety of the world. What are you talking about? You talked about it last week. Uh, when we were not rolling, sir, I was very careful with that. Oh, I thought no, it was okay. You. I'll no, cut that. Fuck out. you. Ma make a mark. Fuck you. Make a mark. Fuck you, Rem. 16. Fuck you, Randy. No, I love you guys. Right. I love you guys and would never, ever stab you that hard. 
But no, what would you guys do if you were like in this situation? I would absolutely not go. If I saw his decapitated body, I knew there was some fuckery about it and I would But I the would thing stay is, but the thing is you're ass you you're you're pretty much choosing to like starve on the island or take your chances like rafting it. Hmm. Randy, and the thing what would is you the do? Vo- and well, the thing is, like, the voices on the other side are, like, completely coherent and, like, making sense. Like, there's nothing, like, suspicious. This is, this like, is some I even, shit right here. I know. I even asked, like, one of the voices, like, something they could never know. Like, oh, hey, go into, like, go to my house, like, and find out, like, the name of the green book I keep under my bed. And they go and they tell me, like, they go to my house, like, the voice allegedly says they go to my house and find, like, the right title of the book. And Wait, tell they're going so to your house like, as soon as they yeah. go from the well? Oh, then you know it's no, bullshit. No, 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 not, not immediately, oh. but they say they can't, like, they're back at greater civilization and, like, you know, in, like, you know, I guess my local area. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And they're like, oh, yeah, I can go to, like, that place and find that green book that only you would know, like, you know. The title of that's hidden under your bed. So before I like, throw it to Randy yeah. to answer this question, I, I want to know how dire the situation on the island is. Is like we've been stranded Limited there for a month supply. already, and there's no. Yeah. No, like imagine, like, okay, like you 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 find yourselves there for whatever means. Like I I it, for me, it, there's like there's no context, but you can just say like, okay, if you want to, like your ship wrecked or sky wrecked on the island or plane wrecked on the island and then maybe like you take two days to discover it and maybe like on the 40th mm-hmm. hour or something you find the shrine or the stilted house with the well in it and then you know yeah let's say from you know the moment you find that you might not know it at the time but let's say you have like you know half a week's worth of provisions like that you can scavenge you know from mm. your are there coconut trees let's like, what's it, what, Let's say there's half a week's worth of coconut trees. Yeah, All right, cause, uh, yes, because I've watched a lot of Survivor. I feel like I can at least live a week on an island. Okay, let's say a week, Rem. Okay. There you go. But that's it. Yeah, it, limited. That's the whole... I can pick it. You want to pick a different number? No. Say a bigger no. number, no, and then no. I'll say... Oh, oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw okay, it to Randy. So you, I, I want to know what Randy's feeling. thinking here. I want to include Randy. Randy, just be careful because Cody's combative tonight. All right, so... <laughs> First of all, thank you for being our dungeon master for this evening, Cody. Um, yeah, you're welcome. I would say that we had two bodies <laughs> wash up on shore, so food's plentiful. Um, I would give oh. us a couple of more mm. idiots to go down the hole and test science. Go down the hole holding, you know, the innards of one of the bodies that rolled up and see if it's There's connected. There's yeah. rope. There's rope right here. You don't need to oh. do that, Randall. Thank you. No, I was just saying if you needed to get creative. You put it in your back pocket. Yeah. That's, I, I didn't try rope. Yeah. Yeah. But I would assume it's the same thing as like the voice. Hey, how soon do you go to cannibalism, Cody? I don't know. I don't know. Did you ever see? Um, Let's like play that people... game. Let's play that game. Let's okay. Play that game. Let's go. We, we needed something to do for this fucking show. Let's play but, that game. Um, like the people who were in Alive, right? That, that plane that crashed in the Andes. And they sure. had to sit out there for a couple a soccer months for the team or something? No, it was like real people. They weren't a soccer team. And they oh, all the soccer the, players aren't <clears throat> real. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm sure that should happen to a soccer team, but these weren't soccer players. Um, and, and they kind of said, like, you know, we got, we got to start eating people who die. And they started eating people who died. Yeah. Okay. Of course. But there's a tier list. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. is the person alive still? It's like, there's a lot that goes on in this. Okay. Well, the per- let's say the person is just like, just, just, just passed. They just died. So it's okay to eat. But you and need. There's no chance of like reviving them. Right, yeah, because okay. you don't Let's you don't have anything, decapitated right? by forces unknown. Yeah, there you go. Sure, you head chopped off. All right. So now there's a couple things happening. It's like it's not like you're just picking up a leg and chewing on it. Like somebody has to cut that leg off. Somebody has to slice yes. the pieces, and somebody has to throw it in the frying pan and season it, or whatever the hell they do. At least someone from the Mediterranean there. Yeah. So it's like, probably fresh enough. You can skip the cooking. Man, just, step. that's that's got to be really fucking weird to be the person who has to cut up the thigh. Yeah, there's the Dama party. Like you're like you, you ever hear about that story? Or kinda, whatever? yeah, kinda. Yeah, the only reason they made it is because there was a butcher there that knew what to do and was able to like carve the human anatomy up well enough to like make it last long enough. Holy so, shit! Like, th- that's how they like survived. Like. Like they, they, I don't know. They had like a slaughterhouse person that was able to 
dice your average human up well enough. Man, I blame religion for ruining cannibalism because it could have been so awesome. But Randy, what would you do? How, how soon do you uh, go I into freaking so. cannibalism? <laughs> mm, well, I would uh, probably be the first one that would be sacrificed for cannibalism because of my size. I can feed oh. a lot of people for a long time. And they yeah. could crawl up in, inside of me for war. Yeah, I was going to say we could taunt on you. Nah, yeah. we could taunt on Randy. Cody, yep. come snuggle in the Randy with me, bud. I'm good to have a party. I'm good to have a party. <laughs> Just saying. When the zombies um, are coming, I'm too slow. So you can get away and they'll chewing on me for a while. Would you, would you eat placenta? They yes. do that like in Ireland, I think. No, but I wouldn't. That, no, that that's cannibalism. Gross. That's cannibalism, yeah. technically. Well, what about a, a chick who swallows? That's, uh, mm. Placenta is uh, vegan, actually, believe it or not. Shut the fuck up. How is it vegan? Uh, the rules with vegan is um, you can only eat meat whose owner um, consented for you to eat it. What? Yes. Yeah. So if, if, if chickens could talk and you could ask them and they give it to you, you could eat chicken vegan. But because chickens don't talk, we can't okay, well, ask them and they don't. All right. So wait a second. Cody. All the rules are all fucked up now because it's 2022, right? And yeah. anything can be any, anything. So if I identify as a person who can talk to chickens and I insist in myself that I can understand what a chicken says, I can be a vegan while eating chicken. If you could prove to the greater society that the chicken consented <laughs> to you eating it. That would be a vegan chicken. You can train a chicken to play tic tac toe. You can train a chicken to consent. Well, you'd also Thanks. have to like educate it and you know kind of have it gain sentience before giving that. Because you know, uh, you, chickens uh, Randy, are really easy I, to deal with, Cody. Have I, I, I can like chicken? just, I can just scream. I consent at a parrot all day, and then just eat it as soon as it like mimics me. You know what I mean? Do you know how to handle a cock, Cody? I grew <laughs> up with chickens. Roosters, uh, very, you turn them upside down, they get pissed off pretty easy. And we had one run into the woods for eight days. Randy, that's, that's true of like most life forms in, in the, the, the known galaxy. You, you turn them upside down, they're not happy. Hey, real well, quick, uh, Randy mentioned handling cocks. I just want to say thank you to Walter for coming on last week and hanging out with us. So it was a good time. Mm, it's a good yes, episode. It thank you, Walter. You're, you're truly a gem. And maybe we'll have another surprise from NFHC next week. All right, continue handling cocks. Yeah, well, also, we're brought to you by The Cock. Peacock. Watch wrestling and stuff. Um, you think that Pat whatever. McAfee would say on The Cock? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he said it? I thought I yeah. came up with that. Yeah, no, he said, on The Cock. Peacock. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. That's what I always call it around Kristen's grandma. I'm like, hey, you got The Cock? And she's like, what? And I'm like, Peacock. She's like, oh. No, <laughs> I love it. Uh, no, that's not that's not confusing at all, Randall. Well, I I, I say it's a uh, business terminology, like we, we use it in the biz. So since since I know Cody and he worked for NBC once, um, the cock, yeah, yeah, I would anyways. have gotten fired immediately if I could call the cock. one from Thirty Rock. Yeah, the cock. Oh, hey guys, the cock's on the phone. Quick, scrap. So Cody, go, go back to your question of whether you go down the, the well or you starve in the island. <clears throat> it's a really good question. Because now that I'm 40... You could also crap shoot the raft. Right. I feel like, you know, I, I feel like, I, I, yeah, I feel like I could have taken apart, like, the house or the stilts. Like, yeah. I could have cannibalized enough from the house to, like, you know, have the rafting shot. But allegedly, you are never supposed to take the, like, take the rafting shot. Yeah. So I'm I'm actually I'm flying to Oklahoma next month. I'm uh October 16th I'm flying down and on the 21st I'm flying back. So it's mm. time to start thinking of desert island scenarios, you know, for in case my you know the worst were to happen. I, Oklahoma is an island. island. Yeah. I mean, you never know, okay. Cody. You Islands. never know which way. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah the people you go down in the Ozarks. Yeah, the people in Lost, okay? They weren't supposed to be over an ocean either. Yeah. The the fucking were. yeah the fucking what was it the uh, Gilligan's Island that oh, that entire thing was supposed to be a three hour tour. Fuck! I right. lost my Braves bet, motherfucker. Minnow, um, yeah, no, minnow, so, right? but so the, the the older I get, the, the the weirder my relationship with with death gets, right? Because there's some days I'm like, fuck it, I don't care. I've had a good life. That's enough. And other days, like, man, I really want to see the future. So I guess it would all depend. 
on when that day fell in my week. You know what I mean? Like if it was like a Monday or Tuesday, I'd probably be like, fuck this bullshit. I'm um, just go down the hole and see what happens. But if it's like Wednesday or Thursday, you know, I hang out on the island for a little bit. Might be good days. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as it gets too hot, I'm like, I'm going down the well. Yeah. Yeah, right. exactly. Like, you know, son of a bitch. Yeah. And, and the problem is I don't even like coconut. I can't stand the taste of coconut. So it's not like I'd be like looking forward to eating a bunch of coconuts on an island. So a week supply is fine. I do like me coconut water. That, that does stave off the hangover quite nice. Um, yeah, I, I never in my I never in my dreams thought to like see what happens if I throw it like rethrow the decapitated body down there. Oh, that's a good you know one. Maybe, maybe his ankles get chopped off. Yeah, and then no, and then like I'd ask like, hey, did you just see your corpse fl- <laughs> you know, flop <laughs> out? However, you just just flopped out into whatever reality you're in, and they're just like, no. I'd be like, ah, oh, awesome's up. Yeah. I like that. That's a good idea. Throw the corpse down. Throw a whole bunch of shit down. Like throw yeah. like throw a soccer ball. See if it comes back up deflated. Mm. Mm. I don't know about that. Cody, no. have I ever given you the steps on how to lucid dream? Uh maybe. Oh, <laughs> to be honest, Randy, I ignore you like so often. It's just like maybe you, you, you told me. <laughs> See? See, he's in a mood tonight, Randy. All right. I'm, well, no, I'm not. <laughs> listen back to no, the episode where I did that, and maybe it'll help you in your dream, is all I'm saying. Mm. So. You touch your palm five times every hour. No, you count your fingers. Oh, oh, make sure you have five. And then in your dream, you do that every hour. And then in your dream, you'll count and you'll have four or six. And as soon as you realize that, you'll be immediately lucid and be able to do whatever you want. See, the only dream that I remember in the last six or seven months, I just don't remember any of my dreams anymore, but there's just this one dream I do remember, is that I was home and Matt, Jay, Dylan, and Walter showed up at my house. They just came over for some reason. They came over and they hung out. And then they started making fun of me in That's front really of my cute. wife. And it, it didn't feel good. It That's didn't really feel good. They were, they were teasing me. And that's all I really remember of it. That's that's about it now. Man, I, my dreams are a continuation. Every Saturday I sleep into like one if I can because I'm just going back to sleep trying to get that dream and finish it because I feel like there's something out there that I'm supposed to be doing that I'm not doing when I'm awake. Yeah, putting your podcast out. I'm trying, Rim. <laughs> I feel like I also have that feeling, Randy, but I feel like the thing I'm supposed to be doing is writing because I'm not good at anything else. You know what I mean? So like I have like I have that, but just with the question answered, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, damn, I should be. Man, that's that's awesome that you guys are still searching for that. It's like I think I finally found mine is that in in, in, in teaching and bringing up the new people around me. In real life. Not Uh, here. Fuck you guys. I'm totally. I used to say that bullshit when I led people to. Yeah, but yeah. I actually do it though. So, like, I'm teaching a class I, next I week. I actually did it too. Okay, fuck you, Randy. You're gonna, you're gonna push down my dreams and hopes no, and thoughts. I, I'm just saying that, <laughs> that that was what I liked is what came along with that. I think, and that was power over others. That's the best. Mm. Oh God, I just yeah. hung up on oh, everybody. Remember, we're gonna do a law of power every week. How's that work? Uh, well, we we do the table of contents of the 48 laws of power. They're all in the contents. Oh, and, we, and what? When did we decide this? I, honestly, well, in in uh, the text messages that you don't read. Oh well, that explains a bunch of it then. So what's going on? What did we decide? I'm sorry, I disconnected by accident. I hit. Oh yeah, we all noticed. Forty eight laws of power. We while you were gone, we were talking about how we were going to discuss one a week. Oh, all right. What's so, the first one? First law of power. See more. Oh, no, where? There. Law one, never outshine the master. Always make those above you feel completely superior. In your desire to please or impress them, do not go too far in displaying your talents or you might accomplish the opposite. Inspire fear and insecurity. Make your masters appear more brilliant than they are oh. and you will attain the heights of power. Yeah. You get them to like you and then bring you up with them. That's exactly that's, Who wrote that's beautiful. this? Uh, I think Andrew Carnegie. Yeah. Mm. No, Juiced Elfers. Robert Green. Sorry. You said like 12 names, and I feel like 0.0 of them were correct. It's Robert Green, produced Good. by Juiced Elfers. Yep. 
So there's this week's Law of Power. Tell us uh, with a voicemail how you've used this in the past. Yeah. Lick boot as hard as you can in hopes of getting power. That's how it works, Cody. You got to get the people who are in power to put you in power. And you do that by by buttering their asses up. And then as soon as they push you up, you push them back down. So the world you just described is a hierarchical pyramid of butterers. (laughs) And that's, that's all yeah. anyone's good that's, at. It's just buttering. Like, we can't, is. we can't that's, farm or nope. hunt anymore. Nope. We're just good at applying yep. butter at specific specific taints and scrotums. You got to take buttholes. advantage of the situation you presented with, man. Those that's, are the rules we live by now. Just got to right? butter what, that pyramid up. Get a butter that you, ass. Yeah, yeah, butter, a, butter lube them, that ass up. Yeah, slide butter that right took in and yeah. hope you <laughs> somehow end up on top of the pyramid. That's why, no. as a libertarian socialist, I demand we tear down all hierarchies. Okay, you go touch the greasy butt pyramid, then. I'll be even right here. Yeah, in no, Hawaii. Awesome. At that restaurant. Oh, Fuck if, the Braves. If we God voted to, to, to dismantle the government and to cancel our debt, Cody would be there. We, we also Co- have the Freemason idea, Rim. Yes, I was just about to get it. Great minds think alike. Let's tell, tell Cody what Freemason finances are. We, this so, is something we, they didn't discuss this when, when Eros and Isis were on the show and they were talking about Freemasons. They didn't discuss this part of it. Well, it's not as popular these days, but back in the day, I guess, is I was talking to a Freemason uh, from Louisville, Kentucky, and he was telling me that uh, back in the day, whenever they died, they left their finances to the Freemasons and the Freemasons took care of the widows. Um, so that's how the society, the secret society, got so much power and resources. Um, is from all those, and because it's what does that mean? Free. Take care of the widow, though. You know, like it just seems so like the, the widow doesn't get the money. The, fr- yeah. the designated yeah. Freemason gets the money, and they and, and, they, does, and, well, they and how do they take care of it? Like they just whatever they, they see fit because they're smarter. They just the throw fiduciary like duty, Cody. seven women into like a broom cabinet. Well, yeah. the cool then, thing about the Freemasons, he was also telling me, is if you're ever down on your luck, you can give them whatever government check you get and have a place to stay. Okay, so that's the YMCA by the village people, just offbeat and not to music. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, young man, if you're feeling... What, what? Cody, so we were going to turn this into to this part, okay? Is that the three of us, if we made a pact, right, where the surviving person manages the finances of the dead one, right? Mm. So, like, if I were to die, you know, who would get my finances, Randy or Cody? And I think I would give them to Cody. Now, Cody, what would you do with my finances if I were to die? This sounds like the French concept of a tontine, and it has been outlawed because Randy would murder me if I do something with the money that he doesn't like. Well, that's what I was telling Randy. This, is already, this has already over. been thought of. Yeah, this this financial arrangement has already been thought of, and it like ninety eight percent of the time results in like the guy who doesn't get the money killing the guy who got the money. Yeah. Like, so like a, if yeah. something were to happen to Randy, right, and Kristen came to me and be like, "Listen, you know, we got a, we got a funeral to pay for, flowers, we got, you know, all this stuff," I'd be like, "What are you talking about?" And then she'd be like, "Well, Randy designated you as his fiduciary king or whatever." The, the hell only thing I I'd care like, about at my funeral who? is the playlist. <laughs> First who? of all, who? Oh, uh, oh Amara says she's a great Agatha Christie. It's based on that. Oh, neat. I I am I my bike is super hot tonight. Let me turn this down. Oh yeah, what what episode was that? Hold on. Yep. But yeah, no, I would fuck you both over, man. If I was yeah, that, that's exact. Well, it, what it, I, that no. that is one of those capitalistic things that incentivizes the fuckery ovary. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not a good person. I, no. I'm pre- <laughs> oh, something else I wanted to talk about. Have you heard about like the 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 Israeli daycare shekel experiment? That's no. like the, the, the fucking like uh, freakonomics talks about it all the time. Uh, mm-hmm. So there's, there's this Israeli daycare, right? And the typical daycare, you just watch the kids during the working hours of the work week, and they give them back. You know, you, you take like a few dollars every week from the parents, but it being, you know, that's your business. Um, however, the daycare workers did not like um, staying late. You know what I mean? Like, you know, sometimes the mom and the dad would sneak off for like a hand job in a movie instead of you yeah. know picking their kids up on a time, right? Hell yeah. 
And so, like, this Israeli daycare was just like, ah, you can't have hand jobs in movies like you are, like we know you are. So we're instituting something like a, uh, it was something, I can't remember the number, let's just say, like, it was like 80 shekels or whatever to uh, every <laughs> every day your kid's late. And just so you know, 80 shekels is a trivial amount of money. It, it, it's something in the league of, like, a, a buck 40. You know what I mean? Like, okay, okay. Yeah. And, um, but it adds once up. The, yeah, it does, but as soon as the daycare started like charging for overtime at low prices, the parents just stopped picking their kids up. Yep. They were just like, oh, it's only a dollar <laughs> <laughs> to like for a hand job in a movie with my wife. Here's a dollar. You know what I mean? So they, the, the daycare did not properly de-incentivize, you know, the parents, so the parents were just like de-incentivized, yeah, yeah, from like not picking their kids up. So immediately the daycare was like, "Well, can't have that," you know what I mean. So they immediately took back their late fee, but the jig was already up because the parents knew your evening is only worth a dollar. <laughs> so like I would have, they would have paid the dollar, but now they don't have to. So right. they think everything's kosher now because mm. the daycare people are refusing a tip in their high. In the parents' minds, that's what's going on. Like the day, the daycare people are willing to look after my children for longer, and they're refusing to take extra money to do it. Because, and just so you know, the daycare people can never leave children unattended. They get you arrested. Know what I mean, like, yeah. So, like, it's never an option to be like, oh, you didn't pick up your kids, and you just locked the kid in the daycare and leave. You're you're never allowed to do that. And the parents know that. So, like, it becomes like this weird, con- like, vulsion of monetary incentives gone horribly awry and the uh the business no longer has control over their customers like they need to like reorganize their payment structure or like find new customers because they literally quote unquote ruined their current clientele base yeah See? that's that's why the biggest myth out there is that governments can legislate intention uh you can't you can only incentivize and disincentivize yeah um so, Randy, what's going that, on, bud? <clears throat> that's nothing. It's really all life is, Randy. Huh? Just incentives, no, yeah, and yeah. not incent de incentives. Well, I'm the I'm the free wills and illusion guy. So, like all those incentives are just put in place. They're just chemical reactions firing neurons. Yeah, it's carrot and stick. Yeah, flesh computers trying to interface. As my friend Matt once said, more computers. Yep. Sex I want compu- I want I want a dehumidifier in every fucking pair of underwear I own moving forward. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like George Jetson is apparently alive now, according to according to that like show's canon. He's Holy been born shit. already. No so way. We don't have flying cars anywhere on the horizon, so I at least want air conditioned boxers listen if we're gonna have flying we can, cars we can have air conditioned boxers by the time yeah yeah i assume solid well, state yeah. batteries are the only hold up there i would say and assholes trying to fly their own fucking car you need an infrastructure yeah, I fucking trust too, any yeah. of you assholes i just i mean for the i mean for the boxers sorry oh wow yeah speaking of air conditioned boxers uh cody do you watch rick and morty and are you watching this this season i I gotta wait. I gotta wait to like have mono or something to pick up Rick and Morty again. When did you stop? It, the la- the very last episode I can remember is um it was a very like conceptual episode that involved a train going around oh, that tracks. Was season four. Yeah, yeah was, Jesus, I think that Jesus did what like he always that. does, and he got the f out. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah, this, I, this, I just remember this, seeing that and being like, uh, here's the thing. I just remember seeing that and being like, okay, this show is going places. I want it to keep going, but I can no longer, like, you know what I mean? I can no longer, like, give it the time it's asking me to give it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'll wait for it to be canceled or do something incredible and then watch it. You know what I mean? Like, like that's unfortunately that where point. Rick and Morty is in my head. You know what I mean? Like See, I know the fans. Uh, the fans suck. The show's great. The fans suck. The show's not great anymore. All right. I don't know. <laughs> the show's awful. Know. Compared to six, everything, I don't know. Compared to everything incredible. else, and goddamn, compared to everything else, 
Well, I haven't watched House of the Dragon yet. And that's five, five that episodes is. in. What's I got to watch one? House of the Dragon. That's that's a Game of Thrones prequel series. Uh, and it's supposed to be really good. People are enjoying it. But this, yeah, this, that's season, what I hear. this is Rick and Morty season, man. And we're not allowed to talk about what the real problem is, okay? Because you're not allowed to talk about things like that, like real problems and, you know, talking about them honestly and not, no idea what's going on. not being a hater, right? You can just say things or, you know, He's mad changed. about the women writers, Cody. <laughs> It's just a, it's, this season's fucking terrible. Like nothing's happening. Uh, all the characters have been neutered. Beth got the bang space space Beth. That's yeah, cool. but like, is that interesting? That's fucking not interesting. I don't. I want to see Rick and Morty doing adventures and like doing cool shit or funny shit. I don't care about Beth or Space Beth. I want to see Jerry do something stupid. Summer can jump in too. Summer did the, a die hard. So Cody, this last episode, of Rick and Morty. All uh-huh. right, the, Beth, Beth, the mother. Uh, she fell in love with another version of herself, which may be a clone. Okay. And they did it. Oh, they is it the assassin version of her? Yeah, yeah, kind of. The yeah. eye patch? Yeah. yeah. Is it a callback well, it's character? not like an eye patch. Well, see, at one point, Rick clones Beth, so she could go right. have an adventure, but the clone doesn't Spoilers know Spoilers across the goddamn board, but yeah. It's it's fine. It's fine. Don't yeah. worry. Nothing changes. Literally, it doesn't affect anything. Um so now, C- Cody, if there was a clone of Cody McCann, uh huh, are you are you sexually attracted to Cody McCann? Like, are you no. willing to start sucking some some D uh, on, on a clone mm, of Cody? No, absolutely not. No, no, because no? like I always felt like I'm, I I'm one of the like myself. I, yeah, because here's the thing: I look in the mirror and I already hate what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah. You know, what I mean? oh, oh, god, look at that. And then you like, turn I, around and it's just like, whoa. I don't feel and then you that give yourself way the proof. Yeah. I'm almost 42 and I'm more handsome than I've ever been in my life. All right. And I know it doesn't look that way in the camera. I'm a handsome goddamn individual. And I, I hate I the sound of my goddamn. Off. I hate the sound of my voice. I, well, I we really all love fucking it. do. Yeah, we love shut, it. Bro. Shut the yeah, fuck yeah. up because we love the sound every, of my voice. No, no, no. Yeah, that's a phenomenon because like the human skull is shaped like a mega horn. So yeah. when the voice is in your head, it resounds. Mm-hmm. With the you know the shape of your skull back into your ears, and you sound you know creamy, deep, and rooted you know in your own head. But when you like you know hear a web camera voice of yourself, you might you mm. know you, like have you know more breaks in your voice that you know your skull resonance. See, you know pick you know I catch up all my out. crutch phrases more. That's what bugs me. Like um and um yeah. Hey, Mara in the chat's telling you to stop lying, Cody. <laughs> but what, here's what? the problem I have with having sex with myself. Like, if I were to meet a clone no. of Rem, no. Rem Dickman. No, oh, God. Yeah. If I, if I were to meet a clone of Rem, Dick, Rem Dickman, right? If the clone was exactly like me, both of us would want to be in control for the whole thing. Not one of us is bending over for the other. You know what I mean? So it would be a clash well, of styles. No, you just style. have to find something mesh. that you're... You, you know, you just have to find your symmetry with your with your clone self. You got to do... like so We would probably that, jerk uh, off together. No, fraudage. That's the key. That's what you want. What's what's Fraud- fraudage? What is that? The, the 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 wiener on wiener tugging. Oh, oh, like yeah. from from middle middle out. Yeah, you like, you know, you, you like you like post up against your clone. You know, like you're you're dueling yeah. cobras, right? See, I would right? want I I would want a submissive clone. I I couldn't stand a clone who was like me. That's you can't have that. It's not that's not on the table. Right, right. So this isn't gonna work. Like I'm not I'm not gonna be having sex that's with what, a clone Rem Dickman. I'm trying to give you options, you're not taking them. You need you need to like I mean I mean sure we'd probably jerk off together. I mean you've probably jerked off with other dudes watching a porno in a hotel room no, in San Antonio. I can't once, do right? that. I, I can't do that. No. It's, that's too weird. Yeah, me either. It's too weird because I need like a poncho. I need like a poncho totally and weird. goggles. And then if I you know, if I walk <laughs> in with a poncho and goggles in that situation, no one's coming. <laughs> no one's coming if I walk in a room with goggles. Yeah. You know what I mean. I think they're all Randy knows. Yeah, yeah, Randy knows that's Randy yeah. knows that phenomenon. And they're getting you excited. Just, you, you just feel the moisture come out of a room when you walk in there with a with a rain galoshes and goggles. <laughs> oh, I lost my sense and taste, so I'm eating eating the pussy. Oh, so you could swallow your own cum, Randy. Would you have sex with your with your clone of yourself? I have. A I'd feeling fight I'm myself. A charming, I'm a charming motherfucker. And I feel like I would charm, I would Bill Clinton myself, yeah. Yeah. You, 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 you would get yourself you, to suck yourself off? Oh, I was going to, I thought Randy was going to put a cigar up his own vagina, but no, he was talking yeah, about something else. Yeah, I'd put out, for sure, whatever happened. 
I'd fight myself. See, I, w- I would. Yourself? I would want to dominate myself because I hate myself so much. You I can't do that. You're not clone. understanding the assignment at all. There's no. But I'm telling you, there's no asymmetry to to this project. You have to find balance. We would kill with each your other symmetry. trying to take control. Yeah. That I couldn't. That I couldn't do you it. know, everyone like all bleeding stops eventually. So if that's your <sighs> harmony end state, Rem, dead with your clone. I guess that is yeah. your harmony end state with your clone. Although you can, play, che- like you can play chess or go with him or fight him, you know, like people shadow yeah. box. Would you would you would you like to do the real thing? Wait a second. Hold on. You just brought up something super interesting. Can you play chess versus your clone? Ever watch um, Arrested Development? No. There's a whole bit where like the same twins are played by that old guy. What's his name? Oh, wow. I, I hate the main like patriarch of that i don't know has, i don't has, watch the show has, has a secret twin and the twins are so like like-minded that they literally like have to like convince other family members to attack them because when they try to fight each other they literally like their knuckles and like headbutts like mirror perfectly so they're incapable of hurting each other mm. So like they have to like convince like their nieces and nephews to like fuck with the like the other guy. So like if if your twin is entirely synced, you'll you'll have that true like that shadow like boxing. A great wrestling match. It would be uneventful, but you know as yeah, nothing would happen. It would just keep nothing would happen, but yeah. you would learn. But it would you know, build and build. You you would learn a lot. <laughs> I, I feel happen. like if you tried fighting yourself, like a double cross. It would build to a double cross body rim. Yeah. I hate that spot. That's a terrible spot. Double cross body looks stupid. You know what that is, Cody? No. No, so when two dudes are running the ropes and they jump in the air to land on the other guy, that's a cross body, right? You cross your body, you jump on the other guy and knock him over. If you do a double cross body, you hit each other in the midsection, you both fall over because you're both mm. doing it. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a dumb It's a dumb, dumb spot. Yeah. You know, that's, that's exactly like what happens. the Invisible Man, though. He's one of the best wrestlers, most decorated wrestlers out there. I don't know there. who that is. No, my favorite wrestler is Vacant. He's literally an invisible man. Cody. Logistics are interesting on that, but we'll see where that goes. Cody, you need to start watching wrestling again because no, wrestling man. again. Right I now, know, no, what do you uh, don't 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 paint me like I'm one of you again. You Ugh. lived in Missouri. Don't try and yeah. lie. You've been to WrestleMania. Oh my God. Okay. Wrestling right now is fucking amazing. Not secrets. that AEW bullshit. That stuff sucks. But WWE right now is just fucking great. Why? I love Why? all of it. Because Vince's because... heart left the room? Yes. Wow. Okay. That's the end yes. of the... Okay. That's, that's the end you, of the can just, you can just say, like, oh, Vince stop, stopped farting. And then I'm like, oh, okay, maybe. But no. Yeah, Vince stopped farting. Somebody else is farting, and whatever they're farting out is different than what Vince farted out. And that's all we wanted is something different. And I always said to my friends, you could fix all the problems in wrestling by just letting them wrestle. And I guess what? Guess what? We're getting 20 to 25 minute matches constantly. We're getting great wrestling. We're getting these guys just going out there and doing what they love without some stupid bullshit. And it's just been been phenomenal. I wonder where they got that idea from. Probably from me. Probably. I'm going to SmackDown in November, Randy. Yeah, I'm yep. going to, to Dynamite in October. Uh, I guess I'll read a book this fall. I don't know. <laughs> I'm reading. I'm doing an audio book, Cody. The therapist recommended I send it to you. Hey, patrons, we got an extra bonus coming at you. Randy was learning how to post an episode for his new podcast, Keeping It Kayfabe, and I decided to record it. So, <laughs> so we'll, yeah. we'll have that. We'll have that sometime. All my credit card soon. details. Are revealed. All are both of them. Because I'm not editing out anything. <laughs> All both no. of them. No. Oh, wait. We didn't do video. Okay. We're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Let's see what we got here. What's on the list? Uh, Cody. All right. I got to tell you something, man. I got to tell you about my, my, my saga with a chainsaw and trying to chop a tree down. I like this. Yeah, yeah, this, this, is, good. this, this is, is very yeah. This could be like Homer, Homerian epic, you know, man yep. versus nature. This is make real this, man shit. Make make this as much as like a Greek poem epic as you can. I really, don't know really, what that you, means, but I'm gonna try. You know, like Homer's Odyssey. Gotcha. Really okay. All right. Cool. All right. Make so, it classical. All right. Make it it all started. It all started about three weeks ago. Okay. 
We're doing a home improvement project, replacing all the windows and doors there in the go. house. What's what? Right. What is more noble a cause for our hero to start out on? Uh, you, he's re- making his yeah. house better. Making my house he's better. He's not doing that. Making it better for everybody. New windows, right? I, I, my house mm-hmm. is my house is thirty years old. It has these yeah. cr- it had these crank out wood windows. He had a crank, and all the windows were made of wood, and it, it was just fucking go. terrible. They're they're rotting, Comfier, falling apart. Safer. Yeah, so we put in these stylish. beautiful new Harvey vinyl windows with these little the, th- the glass the pane divider thing all this bullshit Harvey. right. We got a new front door. We got new sliding doors for the porch. What could go wrong? If anything does go wrong, that's terribly askew and yeah dramatic for like anything to take away from this perfection we're currently experiencing. Go on, Rem. So, so all that stuff went great. It took yes. a little bit longer to, than we thought, but it all went great. Yes, okay? B- but. So, oh, so, so there was got, a but. Yeah, there is a but. We got we uh, at the end at the end of my driveway. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a dead tree. We had a dead tree. There's a couple. De- I live in the woods, right? So there's a couple dead trees around here. But this one was at the end of the driveway, and it's pointing at the house. And I kept saying, you know what? Let this fucking tree fall because we get a new roof out of it. All right? It's not going to kill any of us. It'll just you break sure? the roof. Maybe a car. Yeah, I'm insured. We'll we'll get a new roof, new cars, whatever. It's be fine. Don't worry about it. So the the guy who is doing the windows works with my father in law. My father in law flips houses, and my wife came home, <clears throat> and uh, she said to him, "Man, I got to get rid of this tree." And the guy said, "Oh, I used to do trees for a living. I can chop that down for you." And then she mm-hmm. said, "Oh, that'd be great." So, the oh, last day of the project, all right, he and my father in law there, they cut down the big dead tree. Right? They send me videos. I was at work. So the tree comes, <laughs> shakes the ground because the big tree falls to the ground. And then my father in law is like. Hey man, why don't you cut that tree right there? So he cuts down another tree, oh. goes further to the lot next door. Hey man, why don't you cut that one down there? So I'm I'm coming home. This guy's still fucking cutting trees. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? You just had to cut the one tree, and he's just cutting trees because my father-in-law told him to cut more trees. And guess what happens? There's a lot of a lot of trees. This is a whole saga. This is there's more to this. Don't worry. But no, the trees he's now cutting down, they're getting stuck in other trees. Okay. Yeah, the so, Valheim. So, yeah, it's like Valheim. Yeah, exactly. So now he's got to tie the, the, a rope to the tree and then to his truck and try to pull it so it comes out from the top. And he can't. And another one and gets stuck. So we chop because you have chop. and then you start getting like spring action shit. Yes, yes. And, and then, the rope like rope broke. If twice. there's anything rotted, yep. If there's anything that's yep. rotted, tree or rope included, yeah. Something like even if like it's just a knot of that rope that comes loose, it could like blow out it like the back kill of the you. truck. Yeah, it could, yeah. Put a, it could take it out put a, a dent. Yeah. Into the guy's chrome bumper in his truck. There's a huge yep. dent because of this fucking rope. Yeah. All right. So I, I and I say die. all that to illustrate how much chopping of wood this guy did when he just had to cut one tree, cut down multiple trees. He cut a lot of stuff. And so I got the the bit the main tree that came down, they left in my yard. Oh, Rem can do it. Motherfucker, if you didn't spend an hour cutting trees you didn't need to cut, you could have just chopped that thing up. Bingo, bango. We're done. I don't have to worry about it. I just moved this shit into the woods and we're done. But no, they left this huge ass tree, all you know, just a mess at the end of the yard. So I needed a chainsaw. All right. Papa Rem has a chainsaw. So I say, hey, Papa Rem, can I borrow your chainsaw? Yeah, come on over. I went over to watch the race with him, me and my son. We watched the race, got the chainsaw, came back. Sunday, I was ready to go. And I started chopping up trees with my dad's chainsaw like a real man, right? And the motherfucker, he gives me a dull fucking blade. Like, I got a dull fucking blade on the chainsaw, all right? So going through one log just took forever. I'm going through a second one, and the chain slips off the bar. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I'm like, I'm not even started with the job, and the chainsaw. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? So I call up Home Depot, and I said, hey, man, do you rent chainsaws? And they're like, yes, we do. And I said, how much? And they said, how much do you want it for? I said, four hours. I just, four hours is the minimum. That's what I need at four hours. I'm going to get a chainsaw. Boom. I'm going to knock this thing out. The chainsaw is going to be in pristine condition because it's being worked on. It's sharp. It's going to be great. So I go to Home Depot. Okay, Amara, I, I don't own a chainsaw because a chainsaw costs four hundred dollars. I don't need to chop shit every day. Okay, that doesn't you can get an electric one for like hundred bucks? Right? It's not Unless an electric one's not taking suck. care of the trees I got in my yard, Randy. Uh, all right, okay, all right, all right. So I rent a chainsaw, right? And, I, and I'm chopping up this right. tree. Now it's like butter. I'm chopping through this thing like butter. Boom, bingo. bingo. This How is much great, was right? it? I have four hours to get this thing done. About an hour into it, the motherfucker thing starts. It starts stalling out. Right? I pull the trigger to get the gas going, and it starts cutting, and then it just stalls out. Pull it again, it's just stall. It just keeps it's to this point where it's worthless. I had to keep restarting it and it's just not cutting anymore. It just keeps stalling out. So I'm two hours in. I'm like, God damn it. I tried calling Home Depot, nobody answers. So I bring <laughs> it. Yeah, of course. 
And this is on a Sunday, too. So I bring everything back. And I said to the guy, I said, listen, uh, first of all, when I got back there, he was in the back cleaning. It's a different guy from whoever checked me out. And so I'm, I'm waiting at the door for another 25 minutes for somebody to let me in. So I get in there. And I'm like, listen, bro, uh, this chainsaw sucks. It stopped working on me. It's stalling out. Can I get another chainsaw? And he's like, yeah, you can get another chainsaw. All right, cool. At this point, I'm two hours and 45 minutes into my four-hour rental, and it's about a 20-minute drive to my house. So I said to him, I said, can you throw on like another hour or two on this rental just so I can get back to and, and chop this thing up and be done with it? And he said, he said, he said, no. I said, no. He's like, no. He's like, he's like, we'd have to rent it out all over again. You have to pay, you have to pay again. I'm like... Pay for what? Like, I didn't get my money's worth. I paid for four hours. I got two because your shit sucks. Your equipment broke on me. How is this my fault? He's like, sorry, man. There's, there's nothing I can do. This is the way it is. I'm like, all right. It's a Sunday. There's no manager there. And this is just some guy just doing his thing. You know what? So I, I called back on Tuesday. I wasn't able to call Monday, so I was busy. And I said, I said, hey, guys. And I explained the situation to the guys. And they're like, well, listen, you have to rent it again. I'm like, all right. Is there a store manager I can talk to? I just need a yeah. chainsaw. For the like right question hour, you needed to. An hour and the, a half, right? The right question to ask once they'd be like, no, you really need to rent it out again. The right question you should have asked is, so you guys really want this back with human urine all over it, right? Like, that's what you had to ask them. And they probably would have played ball if that was your next question. He's like. So you guys like kind of really I've, want me yeah. to pee on this before returning it, right? And they would have been like, "Yeah, no, take it lesson. for take it for another seventy minutes." And you know what's crazy, Cody? Is they give you a helmet with the ear earmuffs on them, and they give you these yeah, chaps pretty. to wear. Like, yeah, yeah. So you get to sweat all over this stuff. Yeah, so I look I like yeah. a badass in my my chainsaw helmet, my chainsaw chaps. Did right? you take pictures? Uh, no, I did not take pictures. My wife might. Have. Randy, you can't make fun yeah. of people in safety gear. That's it's supposed to I be. Wasn't. It's supposed to look horrible because it's safety first. A man, I, if I, I just bought a goddamn chainsaw, I wouldn't have a story to tell. Okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Randy. just wanted to see him. It would be sexy as fuck. Well, my my wife mentions that I look sexy as fuck chopping up a tree like a real man. So I'll take that. Um. All right, so so I call back. I call back on Tuesday, and I talk to the manager. I'm like, "Listen, I paid for four hours. I got two hours because your thing worked. And I'm not I'm not gonna argue with you back and forth. I'm just asking a question. Can I get a chainsaw for two hours, and 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 we'll just call it even, right? Just and so after hassling me back and forth, he finally agrees. Yeah, you can come get the thing. You bring it back in two hours. If it's not back in two hours, we're gonna charge you the full price. I'm like, fine, no problem. So I show up on Wednesday. I'm like, hey, bud. And now already I'm embarrassed because I'm the asshole who's causing everybody a problem. And I'm like, hey, I'm you gotta the bring donuts. Guy. You gotta bring donuts. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and offer them so you can you can you can get the chance that you paid for. Yeah. Next time I do this bullshit, I'm bringing donuts. You're absolutely right, Cody. Yeah. But I walk in there and I say, Hey, I'm the chainsaw guy. And one guy has no idea what I'm talking about. And I'm like, Oh, of course. <laughs> Man, you walked into a room, <laughs> motherfucker, and you said I'm the chainsaw. Of course. People are confused about that. It's like, oh, is yeah. he made of chainsaws underneath that supple, chinless face of his? Is he here to pick up one? <laughs> oh, is he going to fix yeah. one? <laughs> is he buying one? Is he I returning know. them? No, he's the chainsaw guy. I know how the world guy. works. And I was under no... Uh, no, no um, I, I had no thought that the, the manager would actually convey the message to his people that I was coming to get a chainsaw, right? I didn't think that would happen. But he did no, tell one person. Did, so, no, post-its are out of the budget for every yeah. operation ever done in, like, ever done in, like, the history of mankind. Post-its are just always out of the budget. If you see one, they were stolen. Yeah. That, that person's a thief if you see post-its on someone's desk at work. Sorry. So there's one guy. No, that's fine. There, there was one guy in the rental center who knew that I was coming for a chainsaw, and he looked pissed off. Like he was already mad that I was getting one of his chainsaws. So he brings it out, and he's like, "All right, so we're going to charge you the full price. If you bring it back in two hours, we're going to knock it down to twenty five bucks." And I'm like, "What? They told me uh, it's no charge. Uh, well, that's not what they told us." Okay, well, that's what I'm telling you. Uh, if I'm paying any money, I'm just leaving. I'm not going to pay anything. I'm not paying for any more of your bullshit. And so he's like, all right, whatever. I'm not going to. So he gave me all the shit. He was unhappy. I brought it back and I was done. Like in 45 minutes, I had the thing chopped up and ready to go. I was, I was done. I brought it back in two hours. Mm. And um, anyways, that was my chainsaw story. God, I do fuck. real man shit. I chopped up a whole tree, Randy. Chopped the fucking thing. I moved all the logs myself. Uh, cleaned up all the debris. All right. I made it a little neat. I got, I got this whole... God, you want some firewood? Come get it. Cause I got a yeah. whole bunch now. 
I was going to ask if you were going to at least build a fucking campfire out of it. I'll do something with it. I called producer Ryan because he likes to make stuff out of real wood. And he might come get some of these things. But mm. yeah, it, it's, as, it, as it's falling down, you notice that, like it was pretty rotten at some points. And uh, it was probably going to come down to my house sooner rather than later. So it's a good thing we got it. It's a good thing we did it. But yeah. don't rent shit from Home Depot. Fuck Home Depot. Did you slap your father-in-law in the ass for the assist? No, because he wasn't there. No, for getting all the extra trees cut. Oh, you know, they're they're on Where's a cruise the right now. My father-in-law, the woods in my it's uh, kind of piled you up got on it? the side side of my okay. yard. Yeah, as long as you kept it. You want some? He, he, no, you just see those psychos that are just like, uh, no, I don't want the wood from the the, the, the tree yeah. that was mine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like no, no, I got it. I got. I have Bruce Ryan make something for me. Burn it. Yeah, least. just mail me like some wood in a uh, one of those fucking if it fits a chips boxes. You got oh, it. I've done that. I've yeah. done that with Kiave wood. That's like Hawaiian charcoal wood. <laughs> Makes everything uh, smell musty. It's good. Really? Yeah. I, did I ever tell you about my friend Ian, like, Cody? No. But chopping up, real quick, real quick, uh, you get to your friend eating. Uh, no, 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 no. Chop, I want to chop piggyback it. on chopping cheese. Because I feel like okay. that's the closest chopping I've ever come to cardiac arrest. Okay. Yes. It is hard fucking work. It's not easy. And you yeah. you run you you run yourself ragged just using a goddamn chainsaw. Because the thing's heavy and you do it you're in positions you're not used to and and you're all nervous for like sh- like cutting yourself because the thing kicks back and all does all the all the other weird shit that it does. Shit kicks Go back. Go to what you don't handle it, right? I was just going to say yeah. like uh piggybacking on like uh, what you said. Uh yeah, I feel like the closest I've ever come to cardiac arrest was like when I was <clears throat> trying to deal with a fucking tree and uh it, it was me and a bunch of my friends we we on occasion would like rent out a, or have a house rented out by like one of my other friends in like pennsylvania and get trash in it and and do hallucinogenics and such <laughs> and one of the times we thought it would be great to be like oh let's do acid and like chop fucking trees down in, in, in the neighborhood <laughs> And oh, we wow. did just that. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. We, we did that. Uh, somebody before the trip went out and bought a fucking axe at what I presume must have been a Home Depot. So you already know <laughs> this is a horror story in the in, in the works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we we, t- we 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 take the hallucinogenics, self included, and then we're just like, okay, let's go fucking like you know go kill a tree or something in this neighborhood. And uh, we pull out the axe, and apparently it's very illegal to sell pre sharpened axes. So this thing is pretty much just the functionality of a baseball bat. You got a dull axe? No, you can't. They can't sell you sharpened axes. Well, I know. You I know. Have, so you're using you have to axe. put the edge on it. Yeah. It's literally a yeah. store bought like wedge. You know what I mean? That has the functionality of a fucking baseball bat. And we're high as fucking <laughs> kites trying to like take down like trees that we don't like the look of in this goddamn <laughs> like Pennsylvania neighborhood. And it, uh, amazingly, like because we're we're like masculine high idiots we somehow start knocking trees down with this fucking blunted axe and it's somehow like because we're <laughs> just the right type of high becomes like a masculine <laughs> right of way so it's just like oh where's the tree you killed cody and i'm like i'm working on it god damn it boys i'm working on it i'm just like wailing away at this tree and this tree can't be like you know bigger than like a foot in like diameter no a foot in radius circumference that's big it's, a, it's, that's a, a, it's big a tree it no it's a noodly fucking tree it's just i have a this blunted axe and i'm an out of shape oh like fuck wit so i like and, and i'm also high and, and i'm exerting myself so i'm swinging on this tree like i'm I, have, I feel like i'm halfway to a heart attack so i'm just like okay let me take you know let me and everything's wet by the way so it's soaky mm-hmm. and spongy and absorbing all the blows oh because it, it just rained so I'm just like, okay, I'm going to die. So let me not continue, you mm-hmm. know, hitting on this tree. And as I'm taking a break, this break is literally like 40 seconds long. I'm just like, I need 40 seconds so I don't have an arrhythmia and die. In the course of these 40 seconds, my other friend who has yet to chop down a tree picks up the axe and then finishes my tree off. And he's like, oh, I got my tree. I'm like, you. With a dull axe. Fuck. Yeah, he just, pussy. because he wasn't winded. He just like finishes my tree off yeah. and he's like oh, oh I, I got one guys and i'm just like oh okay i'm about to die and i need to go chop another tree down with this goddamn fucking ball like wiffle ball bat 
You know what I mean? But I'm like off of my ass on like LSD. Listen, chopping trees and using chainsaws and trees is hard. Okay, the yeah. first time I did it, I thought I was it was hot, and I thought it was because it was the, the heat that was uh, fucking killing me. Like I thought I was gonna die, but it's not the heat. I've done it several times since, and every single time, whether it was cool, it was cool on Sunday and on Wednesday when I finished. It it takes so much out of you. Like on Sunday, I had to sit down. Like my son was helping me out, and I'm like, "Listen, bud, I need, I need, I need five minutes because I'm a f- your old man's gonna die. I'm not ready to give up my life insurance yet." So I sat down on one of my chop logs mm, right. and I waited to catch my breath and my heart to slow down. That shit's hard, man. See, you want it, you it, it, proof in hard because to come down and relax from that, you decided to chop logs, <laughs> which yeah. uh, in your equation would be a lesser strenuous activity. <laughs> <laughs> fucking every year Kristen's family goes to the fucking lot and cuts down Christmas trees, right? And so I got adopted into this tradition. And we go there and the, they give me a fucking saw, a manual saw and a fucking cool. tarp and I and I had to walk around. Well, like it was three fucking lots over before they found the tree they wanted. And I had to get down and get muddy and fucking cutting the grass, you know. It was, uh, but, uh, but now we do a saws off, so it's fine. They just made me cut it manually once. Um, but, uh, in seventh grade, I sold a bunch of firewood cause I grew up in the forest down here in Ohio and, uh, we sold a bunch of firewood to the uh, home ec teacher and her Iranian husband. It paid oh. real well. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever see those like, uh, manual chainsaws? Manual chainsaws. Yeah, it's pretty much the the chainsaw blade with ergonomic hand grips, and you kind of just floss the tree until it comes down. Oh my god, that sounds awful. Yeah, works in a pinch. I've heard. Well, I mean, in a pinch, sure. So mm. does scything to cut your grass, but who the fuck does that? See, I'm afraid I'm going to kill like a like a field mouse or something if I was going to. No, kill them. Own. Kill the fucking the moles. I have moles up the ass in my yard. Thank God uh, I got this hawk uh, that uh, lives uh, nearby. Uh, Oh no! Stop it! No, uh, no you but it the, the the mole tunnels in my yard are out of control. It's awful. The ground ground from it's terrible. I was outside with a little one once. We were playing with the hose, and he was just he was just like he found like the the mole hills, and he was just soaking them with water. And this one time, a fucking mole came out of the shit and like ran to another one. It just popped. Out. I've never seen it before. It popped out of the ground and they're ran ugly. as fast as it could. Oh god, <laughs> they're so disgusting. Really but it was all wet <laughs> because my son was trying to drown it. He didn't even know that he had it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's so funny. My only He's real problem is uh, Kristen's cousins. Uh, one got out of rehab and showed up with a camper on the edge of our lot. Dude, Amara shot an armadillo cards. last night. That sounds fucking awesome. Holy shit. Cody, I can't wait for you to talk about eating armadillo. I, I, it's one of those animals where I feel like their eggs probably taste better than them. Yeah. Do they have eggs or do they have live birds? No, No, that's the joke. I don't think I'm really oh. supposed to see it all around. That's the biology joke. <laughs> How about you take a lap in powder? Yeah, I'm, I'm off. Randy, Randy yes. hit, the th- hit the thinking with your Dickman music. Oh, shit. We're doing a show? When do we start doing the we're rolling? You want segments? Yeah, about you an hour ago, Coats. It's thinking with your dick. That's right. Thinking with your dick, man, takes us back to our roots. Ten years ago, my old dead podcast, Torn Thing Thing. It's in the garbage now. Don't worry about it. You can listen to the first 114 episodes. The rest of them suck. But people write us. They ask us questions. We give them advice because we're advice givers. I, myself, have a whole ton of experience in life, made a lot of mistakes, had a lot of success. I'm kind of in the middle. But maybe I can offer a perspective. Randy, of course, has a unique perspective himself. And Cody, as he's getting ready to read, give me a sign when you're ready to go, Cody, because I'm vamping. Uh, but Cody, uh, too, is, is a very no. smart and well-read no. individual who has a lot of thoughts I was letting you wrap it up. Things. I was good. We're good. All right. Good. Jetem from Fremont, Ohio. Did I say that right, Randy? Fremont. That means I love Jet- you. I know. Some people... Keanu means cool breeze over the water, and Does we really? we just pretend like he's normal. That's what? Hawaiian for cool breeze over the water. Oh, I thought that was Howley. Okay, go ahead and read this. No, one. Ke- no fuck it. Jatim from Fremont, Ohio writes: Is it a turnoff 
if a boyfriend followed loads of women before he met you? Well, basically, I looked through my boyfriend's Instagram following, and he basically just follows stereotype internet famous girls. Half naked, fake, etc. He told me he doesn't like fake women, yet follows women with BBLS and lip filler, etc. What's BBLS? I don't know. I want Googling. to see bo- big boobid, big boobid lady stuff. Yeah, big boob right, lady big, stuff. Big boob uh, lady no. stuff. Got it. We got it, Randy. Stop. Brazilian butt lift. Oh, I like mine better. <clears throat> <laughs> We've only been together officially a month, so I'm assuming he followed them before he met me. But is this a red flag? He's an amazing boyfriend, calls me beautiful all the time, etc. But it's hard to believe it's true when I look at the girls he follows. And I don't want to bring it up if it's old. I also worry he'll just double down on hiding things. He's an amazing boyfriend, but obviously <laughs> that's a bit questionable since it's literally oh. hundreds. Shut up. Literally hundreds. That's just Instagram. I think he might have a problem. I need a male opinion. Am I overreacting? Okay. All right. All right. This one's easy. All right. Mm. Listen. Listen. Jatim. All right. The, the abundance of sex on the internet is like something we all have to adapt to now. Okay. We can't go back to our traditional ways of just one man to one woman and all that bullshit because there's so much out there for everyone to look at. And it's okay to look. It's okay to look and admire. However, if you take that to an unhealthy thing where this dude, like, here's the thing. It doesn't matter if he follows 100 hot babes or not. What matters is, does he try to interact with them? All right. It, it, does he send the bullshit like these weird Pakistani dudes do? Like, ba- marry, ba- baby, marry me. I give you so much cum. Ma- marry me, baby. Like, does he do that bullshit? Or is he just, kind of just admiring the pictures? No, you've seen it. Sarah Stars talked about it. Okay. I'm not making that up. There's there's weird dudes or, in the Middle okay. East who or comment. Yeah, who comment on, sure, on, on sure. these porn okay. stars' pictures? Okay, and they want to marry them. Uh, all right, it's a Thank whole you. subcontinent. Yeah, rim. it's awful. It's it's awful. So, anyways, what I'm what I'm saying is, is your boyfriend commenting on these? If he's commenting, we might have a problem. Okay, but if he's not commenting and just looking at pictures, you don't have anything to worry about. He's just looking at pictures of of chicks that he likes, and when he tells you you're hot, he means it. Because here's here's a secret. Here's a secret, ladies and some men. Is that all, all, all we want is just a little bit of attention, a little touch, and someone to tell us that we're good. And that's it. We don't need anything more than that. I don't need fucking you know, Anna Nicole Smith popping up in my dreams and saying, oh, Rem Dickman, I want to fuck you. I don't know. I don't need that at all. I need someone yeah, who oh, can look me in oh. the eyes and say, hey, I just want to touch your hairy chest. And I'm turned on. Boom. Shot up just like a rock. Ready to go. That's all I need. I don't need a lot. Okay. And if you're not, if you, and if, and if you're not going to give that to me, uh, well, then I gotta have to find it somewhere. I so know. wait, wait a second. Uh, Jatem, are you giving enough attention to your boyfriend where he doesn't need to look on Instagram and also the bullshit of these hot chicks? Are you making sure that he's taking? Ram, I feel like you're projecting. What? No, I'm not. Um, no, I what? Feel projections what? Who are you talking no, about? No, no. I, I feel like projection is happening right here. That's and not. I I'm talking you, on behalf friend. of all men. No, okay? I know the struggles all, all of, of man. Did you hear that, Randy? Yeah, all He's of us. Talking for you. Str- I'm talking. For, yeah. I, I yield my time to Rim. Thank you. Thank you. I will. I will do. Th- I will do that talk for you. Is that? Is that we're, we? We've entered a part of society where we feel like men, not feel like, well, men have to bear all the weight of everything, and nobody gives us any credit for it. None, very little, wow. because we got to take down the patriarchy. We got, we got to do all that stuff. But God damn it, you know, uh, some of us. I want my time back. Give me some back of us are time. just really good human beings who want to take care of our families. Right. And it's all our focuses in life is making ourselves better in order to take care of our families better. And we just want just a little bit of fucking thank you. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot. Some of us put in new windows and chop trees down. Right. I don't know what you're talking about, Cody. I I don't either. Do you know what I'm talking about, Randy? (laughs) Yes, absolutely. Amazing. And it's a little uncomfortable. What are you talking about? What's uncomfortable? I'm speaking for all of us. You all go through the same exact thing. No. 
No, I uh, tell Chris and good night, and then uh, he's cool if I mess. <laughs> the best thing it's Randy could have been like, nope, Ram, we're the opposite. See, I love my wife. <laughs> that would have been the best counter Randy could have dropped. Right now. <laughs> that would have been the <laughs> ticket. Yeah. Randy, I, I want to shrink myself down, climb up the scruff of your back, and just tell jokes through you like fucking Ratatouille. That movie, you remember, like just pull on your beard or hair. Watch or everything, burns. everywhere, all at once, please. <sighs> Cody, I'll have you know that yeah, the same night, good. the same well, the second night where I won a total of one hundred twenty-five dollars, I also had sex. So it was a good night. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, one hundred and twenty-five can buy that. I mean, it, like it's not. Would you? I mean, half, it's half not half very it? good. Not very half good. Half it at the yeah. well in Ohio. That's creme de la creme. One hundred and twenty-five bucks in Ohio. Yeah, don't you remember when Rim like or uh, not Rim Huel? The first question he asked me the first time I called in was how much a uh, prostitute costs in Ohio. And I, was I like, love twenty-eight fifty. Yeah, I love that <laughs> mid advice. We're supposed to be like these wise wisdom sages and be like, oh, fuck your personal advice, really quickly. Let's discuss the going rates of like prostitutes yeah. in Ohio. Thank you, Randy. My answer to this, Jatem, is basically we need to focus more on on men and what they need uh, to be happy. Cody, what do you think here? What what advice would you give to Jatem? Uh, is she dating a terrible person? Here's the thing. She's like, oh, in, like he on Instagram, he's like following like uh, like all all his follows all his follows are like hot women. Um, I'm, I haven't tested the waters recently, but I'm l- relatively sure that's like. 75% of the makeup of Instagram, you know, so you, you kind of can't have his follows be skewed any other, any other way than mostly hot women, because that's an average, like, sampling of the platform. Yeah. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like, mm. there's hot women on the hot women social media platform, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, well, yeah. it, it, there's also gay guys like my, on Grinder. Uh, yeah. No, Randy, you know more about Grinder. Sorry. Th- well, <laughs> well, Rim knows the most. Uh, he's been uh, oh. for looking for a friend. He's got an uh, honorary uh, degree. So many dudes wanted to suck my dick. It was crazy. N- yeah, uh, but no. Like if it's anything like my Twitter, uh, the only thing that follows me are like porn bots. So I, you know, have to follow them back. Or I'm yeah, really, that's the thing too. It's just uh, like I, I bet you there's yeah. like. There's, there's, we get a lot of porn bots in this show. Yeah, I bet you there's <laughs> yeah. about 17 quadrillion porn bots somewhere yeah. in my viewer list or followers. But here, here's my relationship advice. If you're having this many doubts now it, like, and, and you're not comfortable, like, fuck yes well, or no with relationships. Th- All right? If it's not a fuck yes, then it's a no, bud. Randy, you nailed it, right? Because if you if you have that question now, it's not something that's just going to go away by some assholes on a podcast telling you to make it go away. Listen, there's a, there's a lot of nuance here, a lot of nuance to be discussed, right? Uh, but we don't do nuance anymore. It's 2022. Nuance is dead. We don't do nuance. So it's a black and white world. And if you have doubts, get the fuck out. You get out. But understand, it's not it's not you. Wait, it's not him. It's you. All right. He's just looking at hot chicks. It doesn't mean anything. He's just looking at yep. something he likes. I was I was driving home yesterday. I was pulling into my driveway and I saw I saw this blonde a hot hair. chick. Exactly. I saw a hot chick walking down the street. And all I could see really was her ass and her blue tight walking pants and her blonde hair, blonde ponytail. And I was like, Well, goddamn, that's a really nice looking ass. I wonder who that is. And I'm looking, trying to see if I was, if I noticed her, if I've seen her before in a neighborhood. And I haven't. And I pulled in, I go in the garage, come into my house. My wife says to me, because she was in the kitchen, and we have these new windows that you could see right out and see everything with. Mm. She's like, I saw you looking at that girl's butt. And I said, yeah, I was trying to figure out who she was. She's like, yeah, you're trying to figure out who her butt was. I'm like, I mean, she had a nice butt, but it's a little too small for me. I like a large ass, girl. I like a, I like a large, See, you fell large for ass. That was a trap no, your wife. Yeah, that was a trap your wife set for like the and last said, however long you've been married. I said, that bitch is too skinny for me, mm. girl. All right. And then I got, I successfully navigated you, out you of gotta, that one. <laughs> no, see, you got to strive <laughs> to be more than that. Just someone that runs away. You got you to gotta take the, you got to grab the reins and fuck with your wife. You know what I mean? Like, no, baby, I don't like her. She's not racist enough. And then just stare at your uh. <laughs> And then just try and, like, stare at your wife to see what her, like, wait, what? 
You know, yeah, you got to pull Write that power down. Move. She's not racist enough. Yeah, no, baby. I hate her. She's oh, she's not racist enough like you. Like, mm. And then, like, try and get cuddly. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm totally stealing that. Speaking of Cody. You, you have to get consent. But you Cody, do have that. Cody. Yes, listen yeah. to me. Listen. She's not racist. Hold I, on. I, I won an argument. Yeah, okay. Hell yeah. I got, I got... I got like one and a Rem half of those on my v belt. Dickman. Uh, Randy, you're not even looking. I did the RVD thing. You're not even looking. Fuck you, Randy. Smoking your weed. Anyways, you guys have advice for for uh, Jetem here because I'm the one. I monop- I monopolize all the time. I'm sorry. No, it's, yeah, this is. I don't know. This is a Jetem problem, not a not yeah. a Jetem's boyfriend problem. Well, it sounds like he's an amazing boyfriend based on what you wrote, but. Uh yeah, it doesn't sound like it's gonna work out. So. Enjoy it with him, right? Like you yeah. can get in. Like it's 2022. You can admire the female form. You know, you can do that. No, bitches like year. to undercut each other. Rim. I don't know if you could say that, Randy. I don't know if you could say that word. Mm. I, I was quoting Bill Burr. Oh, you, you got to keep that language. When he was talking about, text. whenever he was talking about the WNBA. Okay, Why Randy, the WNBA isn't as popular as the NBA. Wow, that's enough. It's that's enough. Women because women you, don't Randy. go to the games. Jesus, you're racist and you hate women. This is disgusting. I don't know who you, my friend, is Man. anymore. Really, zero stars for She Hulk, Randall. Zero. Yeah. Okay, I don't even we watch see, it. I we see what one. kind of person you are. I only rate things on a one to seven scale, Cody. Uh, well, hold on. Let me do the quick math. A zero out of five would be uh, zero out of seven. That's that's the metric <laughs> version for <laughs> that. Okay. No, because it's one to seven, but it would be a one. Oh, okay, so zero divided by seven is no, something no, what, else than what, zero divided by Cody, five. Cody, what are you saying? There's no there's no zero in the scale. It's one to seven. Yeah. Everything gets at least something. That's the most optimal way to score things. Duh. Rim, when are we going to talk about uh, Mr. Rich Dickman stepping down after his 50-year storied career as CEO of Rich Dickman Corp? After then, thinking with your Dickman, because Cody has to give his advice, and we have another question to do. Uh, oh, I thought he did. I'm sorry. No, my advice was just like, that seems normal. Like, there's a group of hot women on Instagram. Like, yeah, they all try to, you know, look yeah. spicy it all on depends Instagram for each other. Is is he interacting or not? All right. If he's interacting with them, you got a problem. He's a creep. If he's not interacting with them, don't worry about it. He's just looking at hot chicks. Like who fucking cares? Hmm. Big deal. He's fucking you. All right. Be thankful for that. You know what I'm saying, Randy? Right? Nope. Yeah. Stop thinking you're queen shit. Right? Maybe you got some issues you need to work on, and you can get yourself looking like some of these Instagram models too. Right? Who says Jatem is fucking perfect? Nobody. Yeah. Jatem, if I was in a relationship with you, I'd be looking at Instagram models too. That's a perspective <laughs> to have. <laughs> that's <laughs> some of the most shit advice. <laughs> I, I just, like, yeah, thanks for coming to yeah, us. Yeah, that was like that was about from what I've seen. Like Cody's like witness thinking with your dick that shot up to like single digits, like top dickman from like the twenties, real quick, thanks to Rem there. Rim's going to start being my life coach. So there Perry. you go. Man, I fucking lost a lot of money tonight, I think. So I, I'm angry now. All right, yeah, Cody. So, re- so there you go. Take that advice. The person that lost so much money tonight says you're wrong, Jotem. After, so. wi- after winning so much. All right. Oh, I did win. Yeah. I did win. Yeah, Cody, read the next so one. Much. God damn it. <laughs> Juniper from Sheridan, Wyoming writes, I've recently been dealing with a sick elderly parent, and it has me thinking about my own later years. I want to make plans so my own children aren't burdened the way my siblings and I have been. I don't know where to start or what my options are. I'm researching, but I'd like to know what others have planned. Ooh, I, think, I got this one. Yeah, Randy's okay. got this one. I was about to say. Yeah, Randy, easy you, the day you turn 65 by long-term care insurance. Because statistically, that's when you're most likely to need it. And you can get good long-term care insurance on the cheap then that will allow you to stay in your own home and receive care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done with the segment. We're I wish you sold insurance. Out. There you go, bumper <laughs> out. Let's go, boys. Oh. We don't have a bumper out for it, Coats. We have Yeah, it's Mario for some reason. 
I hate that when like YouTubers use that that the, the star music to speed up when they speed up their clips. It seems lazy what? to me. Star music? Oh, Randy's doing oh. his hybrid again. Starman music. Yep. <laughs> wow. So so uh last week on the show we had Walter on. And I said to Walter, I, I was, what I tried to say to Walter was like, man, I, at first I was I was really upset with the guys being so mean to you because you're such a nice guy. And then I was interrupted because I had to hear Walter's whole explanation about how he's best friends. Uh-huh. And that's fine. What I was trying to say is, yes, I understand. You guys are friends. I get it now. You guys, you tease each other because you're friends. It's cool. And it's great. The yeah, whole like thing. Cody teases me, but he loves me very yeah, deeply. The whole thing what? was misrepresented. All right, Walter brought it up and said I was like I was upset that I was I was, I was uh, that they were being mean to him. I'm like no, 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 no. this is all out of context. It's all misrepresented. So I just want to say, just to clarify, Do you want to call their voicemail and tell them? I can no. pull it up on the board. No, I called I called their voicemail last week, but then my I was in a cemetery and the reception wasn't very good, and it kind of got eaten up. But yeah, you've but, been spending uh, a lot of time in that cemetery. That's yeah, weird. I drive through it on my way home every day. It weird. kind of splits the road. Yeah, it's weird. The highway plans just kind of said, fuck yeah. this cemetery and went it's right through back road. It. I take back roads to like, work. Uh, I get some kind of Stephen King plot. I, I have there. a 30-minute drive to work or 29-minute, and it splits almost evenly into 10-minute sections each. It's crazy how that works. But in the middle 10-minute section, I drive through a cemetery. Yep. So I, I didn't I didn't want to miss my call. I wanted to get. Did my you know phone Stephen call. King's worth four hundred million dollars? That's ridiculous. Because Stephen King's a fucking asshole. Fuck Stephen of, King and his shit. A lot of gold writing. in his cavities. Worth okay. more than the king of fucking Britain now. We have a king, Cody. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, like, we don't for, have a king. No, we, we no. Don't for all our lives, we've been the one. queen. We don't. Have but now there's a king. There's king. And how long is he going to reign? Because he's like seventy something as it is, right? But he got screwed. He got fucking screwed out of this bullshit. Why? Because the queen. Hundred million dollars. Yeah, but, but, but the royal but, but, assets are worth thirty billion. Okay. He gets a hundred million a right, year just Cody, to live. Randy, mm-hmm. shut up. What I'm trying yeah. to say is the queen was the queen for seventy five years, right? Yeah. yeah. Charles is going to be the king for what? Fifteen. Sorry, it'd be that way though. Twenty years, like. Like she really fucked him over by not becoming like queen mother or something. Yeah, he's he's gonna be fucking destitute. Yeah. Do you I mean, think he, he really wanted to manage the downfall of <clears throat> the British Empire? No, but yeah. he, he could have been, he could have been <laughs> fucking bitches in Monaco as the They're king. They're playing fucking hot potato with the throne, just like oh, oh. <laughs> like you, you hold on to it before it explodes. <laughs> I don't want to be the king that's known for the downfall of the British Empire. <laughs> you guys, yeah. when, when you walk. When you walk into Club Aqua and they introduce you as King fucking Charles instead of Prince Charles, you're getting so much more plus. But, you know, he had to be the prince for all his life instead of the king. And now he's old. His shit probably doesn't work. And he oh, he no, can't party as a king. I feel like your puss Someone level, like, food. levels, your, your puss intake level kind of plateaus off somewhere around, like, Earl. You know what I mean? I don't know, Cody. What's your, up, king, what's your up at, Well, yeah, you got more, but what, do you, what are you going to do with the more? You know what I mean? Like, I, Cody, you know, anything more than a handful is like a fucking waste. I've read, I've read the Game of Thrones books, okay, and I've watched the show, and I know saying you're the king has a lot of weight to it, bro. All right, so it's not like you're just walking in like an earl and getting some five. You can walk in as a king and get three, four, five tens. You know what I'm saying, Cody? Because they like the title. I don't know. The Duke of Wales is worth one point two billion, Rim. With their okay, but states. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the title. Like you can be poor but money, and be an official you know, king. Is a big deal. Yeah, but p- you, know, mates. you can say I fucked a billionaire or I fucked a king. You can you can fuck five hundred billionaires. I'd rather you can be fuck a one god king. than a king, personally. Well, Rem, would you rather fuck and a king or a billionaire? I'd rather fuck a king just to say I fucked. There you a go. King. Rem's a king fucker. You heard it yeah. here. Yeah, you king yeah. fucker. Yeah, I mean, you can get a billionaire fucker. anywhere. That means you care more. There's a billionaire here about in Connecticut. The reverence than you do the power. Yeah. Because with the reverence comes the power. But that's no. all that matters. Nobody knows anything. Everybody's stupid now, Randy. Nobody knows the shit. The Prime Minister has more power than the He fuck. said yeah, but, comes the power. But nobody knows that. Comes the power. Nobody's going right out that, to fuck right Tony Blair man. because okay. he's the Prime Minister. They're going out to fuck King Charles because he's the king. Uh, Boris Johnson cleaned up because he's got that aloof act. You know he did. He's got that stupid hair. 
Yeah, he always showed up late with his hair. He showed up late, all, all disheveled up. and shit. He's like that guy in Pennsylvania running for Senate. Was it Fetterman who had I the stroke? I was doing it before he had cancer all on his right, neck. Bud. Yeah, I've been I've been pulling that move since high school. I don't get that. The whole the Boris Johnson was an embarrassment. That guy was a fucking embarrassment. Like, look he got at Brexit him. done. Yeah, he was the worst king. Yeah, I'm getting Joanne on my side here, Randy. Knock it off. Like uh, Boris Johnson sucked. Fuck Boris Johnson. No, he sucked, but you know he did get Brexit done. Brexit He's, was terrible. Oh Brexit yeah, done. Just the way, like you know, I'll get dying done. You know, when I'm fucking ninety four. Like yeah, yeah that, he got 94. Brexit done. Did you like, know King George? They they killed him with morphine and cocaine because they didn't want the evening papers to announce him. They wanted the morning the the, the prestigious morning papers to yeah, announce his death because the evening papers were tabloids. Yeah, when was so this? They killed it. They killed the him the That's awesome. They killed him with cocaine and, and morphine. morphine. His own doctor. Cody doesn't yeah. does cocaine sound awesome? Like when you when you say it differently, like cocaine. Like you change, you change the the, the cocaine, the, oh, cocaine, you, cocaine, you, uh, cocaine. The the lovely Michael Kane gets to say that every time he says his own name. Mike Kane, My, Michael Kane, because yeah. he's like I'm Michael Kane. He's like My, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, Mike, I'm Michael Kane. That's I'm what, Michael yeah. Kane. I'm Michael Kane. I'm Michael Kane. My yeah. favorite cocaine. Where's name? Rachel? Uh, Is that him? Cocaine, Mitch McConnell. No, that was Batman. Yeah, good. Cocaine, like, wait, why do they call him Cocaine Mitch? That's hilarious. Because his wife got caught up with uh, a bunch of cocaine. Man, when I was friends with Chris O.C., he'd say all the stupid ones like Death Santis and GQP, but he never said Cocaine Mitch. And Cocaine Mitch is oh. the best fucking nickname of them all. Yeah. That's the, that's the best. This, uh, yeah, it this was drink is money. phenomenal, Cody. This Who do you want great. to invite to the wedding? Oh, let's give Cocaine Mitch a plus one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my the, god, he started like, selling them on his own website. What, the Cocaine Impost. Mitch? Yeah. Oh, Why are you on his website? Mitch They're going to think flushes. you're an alt-right guy. No, I'm on the Associated Press, sorry. But it said, you know, he, he saw the shirts and started selling them on his own campaign website. Smart. That's smart. Yeah. 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 What else we got to do tonight here? Let's see. Let's go to my... Oh, thank you all for writing in. Rich Hickman Show at gmail.com or intern Nick Did we give any advice yeah. to Juniper? We just get. Oh yeah, the, the advice was 65? that. Um, Is that it? Oh, McConnell's yeah, it. wife. Uh, she had drugs on a commercial cargo ship owned by McConnell's wife, Elaine Chow, who was Donald Trump's transportation secretary. Listen, holy shit! I don't want to be a burden on anybody. So like, it's too late. Put you me have a fuck. You have me on here weekly. It's too late. You're here. I don't. Nobody forces you, Cody. Okay. No, I do. Oh. Cody knows I'd beat his oh. fucking ass. Oh shit! Okay, I'm he sorry, knows, Cody. He knows I, know I would. I would drive to Hawaii and sit on him for a yeah. half an hour. You know. You know how like when like kidnappers like send you a piece of the body to let you know they're serious. Randy's yeah. been like sending me his own toes to show That's me how disgusting. serious he is. Severed. What the fuck's wrong with you, Randy? He, he clearly doesn't understand the assignment of that. Randy, if you got liposuction, would you send it to Cody? Yes. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'll call. I have a referral to weight management. Randy, if you do that, I'm going to do some kind of voodoo shit to your fat. And Cody, it, it's not going to be death. Out. It's gonna. It's gonna be some wild. Yeah, I know. It'll be. It'll be I that I'm gonna put it in a bag. Get a bag of it, and I, it's a. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bag of it, and I'm gonna take it to like some kind of voodoo priestess, and she's call gonna like Simpson. make you like. No, she's gonna make you like have a fart that's too wide for your ass, and you're gonna Cody. like have some kind of catastrophic blowout. You've seen Fight Club, right? I spontaneously yeah, man. combust. They go to the liposuction clinic to get the fat uh, so they can make uh, lye. Make the butter soap, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a good soap. <laughs> it breaks all over the guy. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I want, I want that, you know, I want that bag to come vintage dated, Randy. Just like, oh, this is, this is some 2022 I'd probably Randy. get the band. That's what my sister got. Worked out for her. There you go. But we, Until we, she died. All right, we got Freemason finances. I chopped a tree down. Uh, we did some gambling, some Rick and Morty. You'd fuck a I'd, king. Remember I'd that? Fuck a king, absolutely yeah. over an earl. Any and day. and you, absolutely. And also, your wife isn't racist enough. Don't forget about that. Yeah, yeah. My wife is not nearly racist enough for me. I guess. All right, Cody. You got anything else for tonight, or can we want to wrap this one up? Um. Uh, so you'd go down the well. Of. My dream, my His nightmare. His dream, man. 
Oh no, I don't know. See, it, it's it's very situational to me, Cody. But but the, your well and the dream, like mm-hmm. I know, I know. Once I saw the decapitated body, I know the well's bullshit, right? But well, you can you can also be like, oh, there's something underneath the house that's trying to convince me to stay on the island. He's decapitated. By, like, but like you know what a like a humunculus is. You know what I mean? Like I it, think it's so. a you know it's a magic made human being. So like what's like what's what's a malevolent entity doing? You know, the, the, like in my head, like that's always there too. Just like well, like maybe you know the voice is fake or the body is fake, and you know there's clearly there's clearly like reality is clearly like coming apart. Wait, you know what I right. mean? Hold on, Cody, you're on a deserted yeah. island. You're the only right. person there. Okay, how naked are you all the time? Oh, I got. You, you, is, is sunburn an issue? Like, no. Because if it, like, clearly it's on you know, desert island, it's going to be an issue and you should cover up. But if sunburn is not an issue. See, right? Because of the balls. I, I, no. The, the balls hang low and get in the way. And so I would be wearing not, shorts. They're not in the way. I, I, I'd have. It's the sand that I'm worried about. I'd in have. The balls. Yeah. Well, yeah. because like. I, are the chimpanzees on this island? Because you know chimpanzees go right for the fucking scrot. It's like their it's know, like their Cody. weird goddamn priority list. What? That sounds chimpanzees, like racist chimpanzee shit. Bro. Chimpanzees grapple for the scrotum. How do you know? Oh, so did you ever listen to an episode of Joe Rogan? No. They just go. I'm not alt right. And yeah, no, it just comes right off like some kind of Russian nest Joe doll Biden. bottom. I quoted Joe Rogan earlier. I don't know. Sure. I, I only watched Joe Rogan on Fear Factor. Oh, his prime. Oh, uh, he was still pure then. You guys were children back then. I yeah, watched the full test. But it was just, it was, yeah, it was just, that wasn't the funny part of the show. The funny part of the show is just like, like, like some TV producers like, ha, I got adults to eat bugs and you're going to watch it. Yeah. You know so what I mean? Like that was asshole was like, coughing with me. snakes. Cody, Cody, Randy and I recorded an episode I know. of Keeping It Kayfabe last week. I know. But no, 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 no. You don't, the part you don't know. know is that we had a wrestler on with us. And this guy was like 22 years old, right? He's like 20 years old. He was born in 2000. And I'm just, I'm like, God damn, I'm talking to this fucking guy. He's like 20 something years old. He hasn't even lived life yet. And here I am, I'm an old man. Mm-hmm. It's weird. It's just a weird, it's a weird thing, Codes. Like I'm, yeah. I, I think I need to retire because I'm too old for this bullshit. I get that too. But like some people like misguide my age or, you know, misgauge my age. Yeah. Horrifically. You appear older. Yeah. I appear older? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you present, you not appear, you present older. Like if I had to guess your age, I'd say 37, 38. Well, I, well, thank you, but You're such welcome. was not the case earlier. And three like, kids, at least. I, I, mm, aloha. Uh, when I was working in like New York City, like I freaked a bunch of people out because they did not believe I was no longer in my twenties when I was, <laughs> you know, I was thirty at the time. But they're just—I like, used to get that. You're a the- secret grandpa, and I'm just like, uh, thirty does not make me secret grandpa. Thank you. In some cultures, it does. Uh... I mean, not the fact that I'm 30, but hmm. I don't doubt yeah, grandpas yeah. exist out there. Cody, this was fun. Thank you. Thank you for, for steering the ship the early part of the show. You did a great job getting us going. I appreciate it. I was so high. How bad was it? It was great. Wonderful. Okay. I have to edit out Checks in the mail. Though. See, you know, you see yeah, that like, weird thing, thing you did. Yeah, but you just, you just said you were so high. Like, I don't understand what I did wrong. Odd life. Oh, <laughs> so hard, <laughs> Randy. Right you got it. Right you got anything that's not bullshit? Anything that's not bullshit? Well, no. no. All right, say the words. Let's bring this baby home. Thank you, Randy, for sticking it through and doing a great job tonight, buddy. I'm proud of you. All right, and I want you to know that I think you're great and I think you're awesome. And guess, guess what, bud? You can do it. You can do it. Randy can do it. Everyone right? believe in him. Send Randy, him your energy. Forget about everybody, Randy. I believe in you. Okay, if I if I can go from nine cents and a ten dollar free bet, you know, and and like go two thousand percent better than that, you can too. Okay, Randy, did you ever watch like playing the lottery, Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, yeah, but they they take too long to build to a fight. They lose me. Yeah, 
Bram would Nobody give you like you instant spirit bomb energy. Hell yeah, bud. Oh. Because I love my friends and I mm. love you guys. Cody, Randy, you guys are special dudes. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody for listening to Rich Stickman Show tonight and today and tomorrow and whenever it is that you do. Yes. Thank you for putting us in your goddamn ear holes. We love it when you do. So thank you so much. If you like us more than that though, all right, uh, and you want to support the show, <laughs> you know they tell don't. a friend. They really don't. Tell a friend and leave a review. But uh, you can also check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Rich Dickman. All right. We got, uh, we got Sony Curiosity number nine up there. That's a lot of fun. They did a great job, my, my two friends here. And I will be releasing Randy and I a quick little clip of us talking about uh, our, our Keep It at Kayfabe episode one and zero and what we did. All right. So check that patreon.com slash Rich Dickman. Uh, find us online at richdickman.com for all of your Rich Dickman needs. Click the merch tab. Get yourself a shirt. Get yourself a couple shirts or shirts or whatever. The, we got the, the Eat the Rich on Amazon, plus your politics are sucked. Those are both on Amazon shirts. And plus, we got our Rich Dickman branded merch as well. All right. You can also click on the YouTube link and check out our YouTube stuff. We got our behind the scenes Ooh. videos. Those are over a year old now, but they're still so great because Cody put them together and Randy is wonderful. Pooping, pooping in real life. For us, so check those yep. out. No, he wasn't. Uh, listen to our friends. Walter was on last week. Thank you, Walter, for coming by. Uh, listen to our friends over Not Freedom Consumption Podcast with Matt, Jay, Dylan, and Walter. Rich Dickman Show at gmail.com or at Rich Dickman Show on Twitter. You can follow executive producer Randall K. Dickman at Sir Zero with an E or Sir Zero with an E at gmail.com. Cody McCann is C O D Y M C C A N N at Twitter. Uh, producer Ryan is at Ryan Teared. Yes, my mother's at Rem underscore mama. And I, of course, am at Rem Dickman. Randy, do you think? If you want to join us live and get all the content that the patrons pay for, but for free. Come on, stop that. Come God. to bit.do slash TRDS1 on Wednesdays or Thursdays at 10 p.m. Join there. Rim will tell you when we're going to do it. Also, motherfuckers, call and leave us voicemails at 860-316-4776. They won't do it oh. if they're called motherfuckers. Uh, it's a call to action. Randy oh. does it right. when he's called the motherfucker. Well, that's true. Yeah. Hey, Cody, daughter. you got anything that's how left? I learned. You got anything? Uh, there, there was a guy with a bat when I was four. He called me a motherfucker. And ever since then, I learned. Guys, cross your fingers. Yeah. All right. Daddy needs to win some money tonight. All right. All right. This is my last, my last day with that capper that Randy made me sign up for. Cody, you got any last words, bud? Uh, return to harmony. Return via peace. to harmony via peace. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, cool. Randy. Thank you to the interns of the show. Thank you, patrons. Thank you, everybody. We'll be back next week. Good night. Wow. Bye. See ya. Boosh. Ba-boom. Holy shit. The Browns beat the Steelers. Yeah. We, what was the score, though? 17 to 29. They didn't cover. I lost fucking everything, then. They didn't fucking cover. Fuck. You know what I like to do when my teams don't win, Rem? I like stop, to take a step playing. back and uh, drop the context of their proper noun for their team and just assume their team name is a slur for <laughs> people. You know what I mean? So what was it? The Steelers and the uh... Browns. Yeah. Oh, well, God. that doesn't. No, it can't work. That, that doesn't work. My formula doesn't work. <laughs> that's weird. That's weird how my formula doesn't work here. And that's the uh... end of what I was thinking. End of thought. What do you want to talk about, Randall? Well, guys, really, you know, abort, abort, abort. That was the hardest no, I've a, ever like fuck, turned fuck. out of anything. Fuck! I only got one win tonight. God damn it! Yeah, now you have to palm the fuck. baby. Deontay Johnson had a good game though. 46, 46, 46, 52. You need more kids, Rim. Yeah, the government fucking, pays you to have kids nowadays. Seventy-seven dollars, you guys. I just threw away in the garbage. God damn it! Fuck. No, you just invested that because you know, yeah, for entertainment. You're in the market for a win now, and that yeah. that that's it. That's in the things. That seventy seven dollars is now in the pot to be won. So, you know, you can look at this as like you know an unfortunate stance, or you could see yourself on the precipice of victory. Yes, bros. I got a ten dollar free bet though. Make it count. You're still in the game.